Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem message route taken from CSES graph algorithms uh, sections. So the problem statement is you are given a graph with n nodes and m edges. You have to find and also print the path, basically the shortest path from node 1 to node n. If that exists, if it doesn't exist, you need to print impossible. Okay. So how will solve this problem? I will apply BFS and find the shortest distance from node 1 to node n. Uh, for, for information, this graph is actually not weighted. All of the edges you can consider are having edge weight 1. Okay, they are unweighted, right? So we'll apply BFS and find the shortest distance from node 1 to node n using BFS. And along with the distance, we also need to save the parent information because we need to print the path, remember? So the prerequisite for this problem is bfs i'll be providing the link in the description of the video for all of the prerequisites. sites i have all of the lectures available so first bfs and second is a little knowledge of connected component okay so let's say you uh, suppose you want to to print path from node 1 to node 2 how you'll do that of course there are two either 1 3 2 or 1 4 2 doesn't matter so uh, take an integer variable call it path or something or or uh let's say call it pointer okay so initialize pointer to equal to your destination so pointer is equals to two right so you have to do you have to do two things print pointer update pointer that's all print pointer and update pointer till pointer is not equal to zero pointer is equals to zero means you have nothing to print so pointer is equals to two right so print two and update pointer how you do that uh pointer is equals to parent of current node so parent of current node is current node is 2 so you will print 2 and parent of current node which is 2 is equals to 3 here you see parent of 2 is actually 3 right so pen, uh, pointer now becomes 3 again print 3 and go to parent of 3 so print 3 we have printed 2 we have printed 3 uh, print 3 and update pointer to parent of 3 parent of 3 is 1 so now pointer becomes 1 print 1 update it to parent of 1 parent of 1 is 0 so now you can stop so you can you you can see you printed 2 then 3 then 1 we are even though we are actually printing the path in reverse order you can change the order yourself right so we are printing 2 3 1 it should have been 1 3 2 right and that is why we are saving the parent information so from here you can know actually from where you came so that you can go there and then there right and that is why we are saving the parent for information now let's go through the code and let me explain you with an exam in mean code so we are doing nothing special first let's see what we are using we are using vector of int for graph and then distance array parent array and visited array right so n and m reading the graph and then calling the bfs function if bff function returns true that means there is a path from one to n otherwise not so in that case we will print impossible right if the path exists what we are doing we are of course we have already called bfs so the path is ready so what we are doing in bfs uh, the normal bfs stuff right creating a queue distance initializing the distance of source to be one then marking it visited and then inserting that into the queue and then we are running the normal bfs that we do and here uh taking out the front node and for all the node which are directly connected to the front node right in the adjacency list of current node and if they are not visited they will be added into the queue right and when you add the queue what into the queue the current node what you'll do you initialize their distance you mark them visited or uh, you will set their parent parent of the new node that you are going to add into the queue is equals to current node right so you are saving the parent node so if front of queue is equals to n we are simply going to return true right that means you have found a path from node 1 to node n otherwise if the whole bfs completes its running and you still have not found n then finally you will return false right so you understand how bfs is working now we have parent information so how will print you remember uh, we have a pointer variable this is the path variable initialize it with the re i mean your destination node that is n so what you will do each time Till your path or basically your pointer doesn't equal is not equal to zero what you'll do you'll print the current node and then update your pointer right print pointer update pointer that is what is happening so currently i'm not directly printing because we don't have to print it in reverse order so i'm simply saving in vector and then later after reversing i'm printing so basically uh in the in the vector i'll have 541 and then after that i'm reversing the ve vector which is result and then printing elements one by one 
so this is the code so i hope you understand this i'll be providing the link of this solution in the description of the video so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you